Video Course for the iClock Data Server ADMS Chapter 2 Overview and Applications of the Software ADMS Online Data Collection Solution Data Collection Server System Based on Browser Server Mode System functions 1. Remotely monitor and manage hundreds of T and a terminals under complex network condition WAN. 2. Manage personnel information and the collected data at server. 3. All data collected from terminals will be automatically transferred to the server. 4. Flexible database interface supports many kinds of database. To modify the port ID, click the icon of the service manager in the right lower corner of the desktop, then restart the PC to save the modification. Enter the username and password to log into the system. Both the default username and password are admin. The device maintenance interface pops up. The auxiliary functions of the system are displayed in the right upper corner. You can change the login password, select a system language and exit the system. If you log into the system for the first time, it is recommended that you change the login password. The left upper corner of the interface displays the functional modules including device management, data maintenance, and system log. Recommended operation procedure. Step 1. Add the terminal device. Step 2. Add the new department, and maintain the department. Step 3. Query the personnel in the device and manage the personnel. Step 4. Download the attendance records from the terminal, and manage the attendance records. Step 1. Add the terminal device. There are two methods. The first method, the added device must provide the ADMS function. And in communication settings. Web settings, set the IP address and port of the PC configured with the ADMS server. Then, the ADMS system can automatically detect the device and display the device information in the device list after the device is connected to the network. The second methods, click add and enter the basic device information. You must specify the serial number and device alias name faithfully. You don't need to set the system parameters like the trans record stamp, trans OP stamp, and trans photo stamp. After entering the required information, click submit. Then, the terminal device is added to the device list. You can perform the following operations to an online device, delete, pause, resume, upgrade firmware, copy device data to, upload transactions again, refresh device information, reboot device, upload new data, clear data in device, clear transactions in device, clear pictures in device, set power suspend, Restore employee to device and clear all employee. View the operation log of the device. The log describes the operations performed to the machine in real time. Query the real-time monitoring information about the records, and monitor all sign-in, 
out records and operations of all current online devices. Step 2. Add the new department. Choose Data. Department, and click Append in the department interface that pops up. For example, the department PIN is 2, the department is ZK Software, and the department has no superior department. After completing the settings, click Submit. Then, the added new department is displayed in the department list. Add R&D subdepartments under ZK Software. Step 3. Add the personnel. Choose Data, Employee. Then, the employee interface automatically displays the employee in the online devices. On the employee interface, you can set filtering conditions and view the eligible employee information. You can also export the employee information selectively as an Excel file or text file. To add an employee, click Append. On the employee interface, the PIN and registration device are mandatory, and other information can be entered as needed. For example, the employee is 38, the department name is R&D, and the person name is Lucy. You can select registration password and card ID, or use the registration device to register your fingerprint. Enter other information as needed, and then click Submit. Then, the added new employee is displayed in the employee list. On the employee information, you can perform the following operations to a selected employee, delete the person from the device, transfer to the device temporarily, delete employee from the device, employee leave, move employee to a new device, change employee's department, and enroll employee's fingerprint. Step 4. Attendance record. Transaction, Management. Choose Data. Transaction to display the transaction interface. The transaction interface automatically displays the attendance records in the online devices. You can add, edit, delete, or export attendance records. Query the system log, you can query the log about data from device, the log about command to device, and the administration log.
In the system log, you can set an authority group, that is, define the authorities of a type of uses in each module. The employee in an authority group can query and operate the authorized content. You can also add system uses to the system log. If you select the super user, you do not need to set any authorized department.